But before we dive into season eight solo, you gotta do the three steps. Step one, buy resources. Step two, gather resources. All right. All right I guess someone was here before me. Oh, hold on. Ah, just worms. Step three, sort resources. Because the game's way is wrong. Now you're all ready to dive into your first match. Here is our battle plan for this match. We're gonna execute the Papa Neka hold the fort. It's very simple. The enemy will turn like this, and we will turn like this. At this point in our turn, we will shoot ourselves out. Pop over to the enemy, an Aka, and now we hold the fort as we direct the enemy out of bounds and win. Simple. This is pretty straightforward. Pop over. Oh, oh. All right. You turned the wrong way. Another very important thing everyone must do when soloing season eight. Improvise. I'm going to improvise and take a mermaid. I'm going to improvise and shoot my cannon. Pop. Ah, this might work if we continue that turn. There we go. Come on, baby. You can do it. Now I'm gonna improvise and take a mermaid. Ow. I don't know how many cannonballs we shot back and forth to each other, but that was the first hit. I think that was genuinely the first hit we've done so far. Let's continue. Ow. All right, he's a bit of a dingus. Shoot me like that, ruining my battle plan. Pop. This is the one. This is the one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna improvise. Plank, plank, bucket. Ow. Alright. Yeah, I improvised him hitting me. Plank, bucket. Alright, I must have hit him some because he's running like he's a reaper. Alright, we're back to it. He's shooting. We're back to it. Come on now. Plank. Ooh. Bucket. Bucket. GG. Oh, we won. Oh, GG back. There you go. Why are you shooting me? The match over. You don't have to kill me anymore. We, we can we can discuss the civilized people. The match is over, my friend. I'm gonna improvise and go to the ferry. Pop. Ah, oh, that was too far. Let me improvise. Playing. Mermaid. What? Hold on. Is he? Is he doing what I'm doing? Pop. Wait, did he shoot himself out? Is he trying pop an acre as well? Nah, this is the one. This is the one. Anybody home? Nope. All right, what are we heading out? What's our heading? Ah, we good, we good. There we go. Let's catch the floof here. Yeah, it's the floof. Now we good. Is he straightening me out? Oh my God. He can't be. Is he doing Papa Nico hold the fort too? Oh my god, it's a race. It's a damn race. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Mm. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Mm. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Up the anchor, up the anchor, up the anchor. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my boat is leaving the battleground. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. No, 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 no. Oh, we got it. We did it. <coughs> yep, GG. And that's how you pop an acre hold the fort. It's very easy, people. It's very easy. Defend the fort. This time around, we are gonna get invaded, meaning we'll have home field advantage. The plan is quite simple. Go to a sea fort, clear it, activate your hourglass, and wait. And once we get invaded, we'll just use the cannons on the fort, because it's fun. But you only need to follow these steps if your enemy turns out to be a bit of a dum-dum. We want to make a plan in case our enemy is not a dum-dum, so we got to add a few lines to that list. What you want to do is go to a regular fort, grab all the kegs on that fort, and bring them with you to the sea fort. Arrive at the sea fort diagonally so they can't shoot your kegs. Sprinkle some kegs around the fort so that you can blow it up if the invader decides to pay you a visit. Oh. Also point your ship directly towards the sea fort. That way you can decide which side the invader will spawn on because they will always invade in front of you. Now activate your hourglass and wait. Where is he? Where is he? Come on, baby, show yourself. Oh, got you. 
All right, this is home field advantage. We got the upper hand. Now we just wait and be sneaky about this. Actually, we should probably preload a cannon right there. Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay, there you go. There you go. Be sneaky about this. This might be the best battle you guys are about to witness right now. Not the best battle, but the most planned out, guaranteed win. A hundred percent win rate. If it's a dum dum. We don't know that yet. Oh, it's almost time. Alright, let's move. Let's do this. A couple of times there though. Oh, oh, they're creaking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we good. We good. That was easy. Too bad I couldn't utilize the kegs I've planted. But then, another ship did arrive. I had to quickly hit record, so unfortunately my voice was not recorded. So I'll just talk over here and post what happened. So I just hit record right here. I'm going over to the cannon here and shoot the boat. That's right there. Look at it. I'm firing a shot, giving him a hole. Then they shoot a dude nagel over. I activate the keg. Get in. The, the, the cannon here, shoot myself over, and there he is on the fort, just waiting to get exploded. Wait for it. Wait for it. And that's how you defend the fort. The final battle plan I got is for the solo players who don't want to fight. We're calling this one Roll the Dice. It's quite simple. Step one, if you already own your own sloop, you're gonna have to buy a renaming deed for your ship. Step two, rename your ship to Roll Dice for the win, FTW. Step three, gathering resources is optional because you don't want to fight, so what's the point? Step four. Step 5, once you have emerged, try and contact to your enemy that you want to roll a d20 to see who wins. Please don't fight me with a name like that. This is going to be easier than I thought. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you want to roll a d20 so we don't have to fight and just see who wins then? No. No, no we, we got to roll a d20. No, no. I didn't get any resources, so we have to roll a d20. Mm, I have enough resources. But I don't. Yeah, but that's not my problem, my friend. But the name of your ship is Please Don't Fight Me. I don't want to roll. Please note, they can say no to your proposition. They probably will say no, and you have to respect them saying no. In the event of a no, you could choose to fight them legit, but then you probably should have gotten resources, which I didn't, so I will scuttle. You wanna roll a d20 to see who wins? Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna roll a d20 to win? Roll d20 to win. You wanna do it? Awesome. All right. Yeah, I'll go back to my boat. That's smart. Yeah, I can hear you. You wanna roll a d20 to see who wins? The loser has to scuttle. Okay, we can. Why not? Are right, you ready? All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, twenty. Yes, a d20. And roll now. I got a fifteen. Oh, you got twenty. All right, mate. That was a good fight. Good fight. Yeah, there you go. Hey, can you hear me? No. Okay. Because that's a no then. Can you hear me? Don't shoot. Can Can you hear me? I have to pop a nade real quick. Okay. <laughs> hey, my guy, I got a proposition for you. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 what is it? Let's roll a d20 to see who wins. The loser has to scuttle. Okay. Oh. Okay. Three, two, one, roll. I... <laughs> Looks like you got a scuttle. Oh my god! And whoever gets the lowest number has to scuttle. How about TDM 1v1 lose scuttles? I'm in. No healing. No healing. Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. Boom. Damn. <laughs> G. GG. Wanna say I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Love your videos. Thank you, man. Kept this word. That's a good dude. That's a good dude, but that's not, that wasn't the goal. Let's keep hunting. Again? Pixel. Oh, is it you again? Y-E-S-S-S. -S -S. Three, 
two, one, go. Three and th oh, it's a, it's, it's a tie. We got to do it again. Three, two, one, go. You got 13 and I got 12. Oh my God. <sighs> the loser has to scuttle. What do you say? Sorry, but I have emissary on board, so no. Jump if yes. Yeah, I, I, I. Do you have the emo? Oh, you don't. We'll do it like this then. The first roll is for me. Second roll is for you, okay? First roll. That's for me. And I get a... It's a four. I got a four. Now let's roll for you. There we go. And you got a... You got a... You got an 18. Come over here. I got a proposition for you. I won't hurt you. Is this in your again? You want to roll the die again? All right, rematch. Here we go. And I got a 12. That's a 12. That's a, that's a 17. Damn it! Could be. I think it's the same guy. Yeah, it's the same guy. Merchant. He's just coming up to me now. He's like, yeah, we know why we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this time. I'm feeling lucky on this one. First toss is for me, second is for you. And I get a... Oh, dude, that's a 19. Look at that. Let's see what you get. That's a four. I win. I win. <laughs> now I've done some math on this battle plan. So here are the chances of you winning. There's a 50-50 chance of them accepting my challenge. There's a 50-50 chance of winning the die roll if they were to accept. And there's a 50-50 chance of the enemy accepting the outcome of the challenge. In other words, the odds for winning roll the dice is 50-50-50-50-50-50-50.